Okay, right. Um, we will start our class. So we will proceed to uh, chapter two, okay, which is uh, build your first application. Uh, this is a overview uh, and uh, it can help you to to learn about the how to install, how to create uh, at the beginning of your mobile apps. So let's just start uh, without uh, further ado. Okay, let us start uh, chapter two. The aims of this chapter to develop an application using Android Studio and the expected outcome able to create the project using Android Studio, able to edit and interact the project folder, able to add a palette or we can call it widget and edit them properties and build your uh, build and run your application using uh, emulator or virtual device and real device. So, um, as you know that we use the Android Studio in order to develop the application, it is an official integrated development environment uh, for Android application development. And uh, based on Intel each uh, IDEA, okay, and it is a Java integrated development environment uh, for developing computer software. And IDE is a software application that provides comprehensive facility to computer programmer for software development. Okay. And it consists uh, at least a source code editor, uh, there is a build automation tool and also debugger okay, to, to see the error, uh, to see what happened uh, yeah, uh, during the com uh, compiling the, the source code. Okay, uh, the IDE provides a certain feature like code completion by analyzing the content, code navigation, which allow jumping to another class. Okay, you can access uh, from one class to other class. Okay, or declaration in the code directly. And the most important thing is here code refactoring, okay? or we can call it. Uh, restructuring okay R and it also uh, running the to check the error uh, checking your uh, debugging okay, your uh, syntax and it also provide an option to fix inconsistency via suggestion usually when you type uh, syntax yeah, for example view Okay, uh, or new view, you just type capital V and then the IDE suggests it to you. Okay, this is the possible uh, function that can be used. Yeah, then you can just select. Okay, uh, you can select uh, usually the if you press tab, uh, you will execute the first list of your suggestion uh, from the IDE. Okay, uh, they will suggest to you the available uh, function that. That can that can you uh, use uh, in this in the development uh, program here? Then you just tap, uh, you just press tap button. Then uh, you select the first uh, suggestion, or you can uh, use a, a, a keyboard, okay, uh, or mouse uh, to choose the the suitable function that you want. And the IDE provides the integration with build or packaging tool and database such as Microsoft SQL Server, Oracle, Post, uh, Post SQL, SQLite, and MySQL. Okay. Uh, in this uh, course, uh, we are going to use uh, SQLite okay, for internal database. Okay. And we will discuss later on week six or week seven, okay, after midterm break, okay, and we focus on the database. Okay, all right. Next is the install Android Studio. As I mentioned before, okay, I already uh, uh, inform you that you can refer to the developer.android.com, okay, slash the studio uh, slash install. So you can uh, install the the latest version. Actually, what's the the different? What's the difference between the the latest and the previous one? 
So they provide the, some uh, solving for the bug, a certain bug, but not the major one. So basically, it is the uh, same, okay, same uh, feature, okay. They just uh, fix uh, some bugs uh, in the previous uh, Android Studio. So there is no major change, especially syntax, how to run and build and so on. And you also can refer to the developer.android.com uh, slash uh, documentation uh, and slash guide to read the description and explanation. And also they provide the example how to use that function. Okay, okay this is the... Uh, you need to Android, you need to download the Android uh, Studio and the SDK. Okay. You can uh, download the latest one is 12.1.4, right? Okay. Uh, you also can see the feature. Uh, you also can see the user guide, uh, documentation uh, guide, how to use the the function. Okay, this is the first step in the application development process to create a new project. Okay, and then uh, define the type of initial activity that is to be created uh, for the application. They provide the several options that are available to create the project, such as phone, tablet, uh, TV, Android Studio, and Android Thing. Okay. A range of different activity type is available when developing Android application. Normally, okay, you can select the basic or empty activity. Uh, to start or to begin your uh, application. Okay. They provide option here and you can choose the basic one, uh, basic activity or empty activity. So let me admit the student. Okay. okay, maybe next time. Uh, can you provide the email to me that I can add your name uh, I, can, I can add your email in your in our Google Calendar. Yeah? Okay, back to the this one. If they provide uh, some option here. Basically, you 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 can choose the basic activity or empty here. Yeah, empty. Yeah. Okay. And here, uh, as I explained before uh, during the lab uh, session. Uh, you may uh, choose the minimum API level so that your application can be run on the uh, as approximately 99% uh, of Android devices. Okay, if you choose the uh, certain level, it it can cover only a certain percentage, a certain percent of uh, Android device in the world. Okay, so choose the minimum. Uh, API level so that your application can be used for all Android devices. Okay, and then click uh, finish, and then you can see this screen. Okay, I already explained to you uh, during the lab. We have three uh, folder here: manifest, Java, and the resources here. Okay, we have a palette. Uh, we have uh, some option. We also have a constant layout. We have uh, the layout of your uh, activity, okay, we can call it activity here. And we also uh, have a properties uh, for each attribute in this activity, okay. Okay, uh, basically the project include following folder, okay, manifest, Java, source code, yeah, and uh, resources uh, consists of drawable layout, map, map, and value of the project. Okay, in order to uh, uh, display your image, you can uh, upload your images under drawable or under mid map. Okay, so uh, okay, adding image to the project, uh, locate the location of the drawable folder. Okay, right click on the drawable folder, then select show in explorer, then you can copy and paste. This is some uh, file type uh, that can be used uh, in Android, okay, PNG, uh, Japan, BMB, and so on. Drag the image view from the image under the palette, then drop it uh, in the project interface, then select the images. Okay. 
Next, uh, the palette content or properties. Okay. The relative uh, layout properties. Uh, it under the con it under the component tree. Okay. Click on the create layout. Okay. Like relative layout. And under the properties, edit the required properties such as ID, okay, layout width, layout height, text size, okay, text color, and etc. Adding a text view and edit text to the project. Okay, you can drag from the palette, okay, drop into the, the design, okay, and create the connection between the project material constraint layout. Okay. You can uh, give a constraint layout between the component or between your selected component to the parent, okay, to the parent of the layout. Okay. There are, uh, it can be a static constraint layout or you can choose the dynamic constraint layout. Okay. In order to build and run the application using emulator, you can click a green a triangle, uh, that one. Okay, to run uh, in the top of the Android Studio. To build and run the application on your smart device, you can connect a smartphone to the PC okay, using a cable data. Okay. And you also can use, uh, of course, you need to activate the USB debug uh, in, in your uh, Android, uh, in your mobile phone. Okay. You can choose the uh, Android developer and make sure you switch on okay, USB debug. Okay, after that, uh, click run the button okay. and your uh, application will be run in your uh, Android, uh, your uh, mobile device. Okay, this is the developer workflow. Basically, uh, we start with the setup. Okay, set up your environment. Okay, choose uh, which platform that you want to use. Okay, let's say you select the uh, MT. After that, uh, create a project. Okay. Then you need to start uh, writing the code uh, in both XML and also the the Java file. Okay, add the asset. Okay, uh, in your resources, let's say image. Okay, and others. Uh, uh, for example, the language string value. Okay, you can add it. Okay, in under your resources folder. After that, connect a device or emulator. Create the uh, virtual uh, device, okay, or you can uh, customize your build. Means you connect your uh, Android to the uh, your phone device and run, okay. Uh, basically, the Android Studio will debug, okay, and uh, test, okay, your uh, code. Uh, after that, you can publish the version, yeah, version one, two, three, and so on. Okay, anatomy of the application. Basically, you can create more more than one activity. For example, uh, the left side here, you can see there are two button view activity um, and activity button. Let's say you click view button, it trigger to another activity, or it goes to the second activity. Okay, we call it intent. Uh, I will explain it, I think, next two weeks, okay? We focus on intent, okay? And also, so what is activity? So it is a started, a represent a single screen uh, with a user interface, and it will act an entry point for users to interact with application. Give an example, for example, you, uh, in the, Android application such as contact person, where once you click uh, one of the name uh, in your contact, it goes to the others activity. Uh, it show the uh, selected person okay, with the detail uh, phone number, okay, full name, okay, last name, and so on. So that one example, contact. So in Android application, activity can be implemented as a subclass of application compact activity class, like as shown below. So when you create the activity, you need to extend application com compact activity class. It is compulsory. If you don't extend it, 
okay, this, this statement, okay, public class main activity extend application compatibility. Without application compatibility, your, your, uh, your application will be error. What happens if you have more than one activity? Okay. You create another activity, let's say activity two. Okay. So you can create public class activity to extend application compact activity. So all the activity should extend this class. Yeah. If you have another activity, you can uh, declare like this. When activity two extend application compact activity. It is necessary if you create the activity. And view, how about view, okay? View, what is seen inside an activity? View is the basic building block of user interface in Android. View, view here is the view class, okay? You can imagine that uh, in order to add a certain palette, okay, in your activity, you need to import the library, which is from view okay view here uh, provide the uh, classes okay these classes provide uh, some feature uh, for example uh, you can access text view you can access edit text and all the uh, widget uh, in the palette okay so view refer to the android dot view okay, view class which is the super class for all the gui components Okay, like text image, image view, button, edit text, uh, what else, mm, list view, okay, and radio button, checkbox, and all, yeah, so we can call it super class. So, especially when you want uh, to, pro you, when you want, when you design the GUI in the Android Studio, you need to import this class, okay, view class, okay, in order to uh, use text view, image view, button, and so on. And a view is also known as a widget. Okay, uh, so you can see in a widget, uh, they provide several options that you can select. Okay, let's say you choose the uh, uh, text view. Okay, from the Android. So you you need to call this class. Okay, you need to import this class in in. Uh, in your uh, program, yeah? and any visual that we can see on the screen and interactive, okay, with uh, which user can interact with, we can call it widget, okay, and it also has a properties, okay? or we can call it it has a attribute, okay. Uh, for example, here uh, layout with wrap content, okay. Uh, we also can uh, it's about the um, match pattern. Okay, this is uh, some attribute that can be implemented into the view class. Okay, for example, text view. I want to make it text view uh, match to parent. So I want to layout width equal to match pattern. So I want to make it very long. Okay, and match to the parent of the layout. Uh, these are uh, some uh, attribute that can uh, use. Yeah, example, uh, most commonly used Android view class. We have some of the most commonly used uh, Android view classes. Example, text view, edit text, button, image view, image button, checkbox, radio button, list view, and so on. So this is example. Okay, text view. It just to display a text. Okay, checkbox to give an option. Okay, where the user can choose more than one. And then uh, image view, okay, image view, uh, you can display an image in your mobile apps. Button, okay, usually uh, we use button to trigger uh, an action. Okay. Edit text means the text that can be edited. Okay, you can provide, you can choose the edit text when you ask the user to fill in Fill information, okay. Fill something information in, in the text. You, so you can choose edit text. So edit text, usually uh, you provide in the form. So you ask a user to fill in uh, that form. Another one is radio button view, okay. Uh, you ask a user to choose uh, 
only one option. Okay, you provide several option, not necessary two, maybe more than two. Okay, but you allow to user, uh, you allow user to choose only one. How about the image button view? Image button view is similar to the image view, just display, but you add some an action. Yeah, you this image. Uh, you assign an action or trigger of uh, action to do something. Okay, we, then we can call it image button view. Okay. Okay, this is the example of the XML syntax for the creating a view. Okay, uh, there are uh, some uh, uh, properties here. Okay, or uh, for example, here is the ID. Okay, to represent the uh, ID of the widget itself. So anything happen if you want to call uh, that widget, so you need the primary key here, which is the ID itself. Layout width. Okay, you can uh, change the size of the uh, layout widget. Okay, based on the width. Okay, wrap of content means match. Uh, match to the content, okay, or wrap the content, or layout with the layout height, okay, also you can choose a match to parent or wrap, uh, wrap the content up to you. Another one is the layout margin top, okay, you can imagine that this button, okay, will set a constraint layout, okay, from the top to this uh, button, which is uh, 52 dot per pixel, okay, this is a static, okay. And text, okay, this is the syntax that you have to write in the XML. First, add string slash button. So the text will be appear in your uh, button is a button, yeah, small button, yeah. B U T T uh, O N. Okay. So that one is your the string itself. And also the uh, constraint uh, N, okay, end to end of parent and so on. How to create a define a view or a view group in your Android application? There are two methods. First, you type uh, the XML file from the beginning, starting by uh, button here, and then Android uh, ID equal to add plus ID uh, slash button and so on. Or you can uh, choose the the palette and drag and drop into the layout. But both are important, so you have to understand uh, both XML file and also uh, XML syntax and also the creating view uh, through the layout. Okay. Okay. Uh, intent. So basically, intent will be discussed on next two weeks. Yeah. It is about how to communicate with others' activity. Okay, it is a way of misses uh, passing between two or more than two components of Android, and different activity interact with each other with the help of intent in Android. Okay. Usually, it can be uh, called as a navigation in order to navigate from one activity to other. To other activity, we need the intent. Navigation is the must for any application as a smartphone, yeah. Uh, and especially if you have multiple pages, okay, and ha has navigation is essentially required. And uh, two key, uh, two kind of the intent. So intent itself has has a, a two type of intent, which is implicit and explicit intent. So, uh, what is the explicit intent? Uh, an explicit intent is the most commonly used uh, when launching an activity from another one, okay, within the same application. For example, okay, I have a, a hello world here, edit text, right? Okay. And then I have a button, send button. Once I click, send button, I will pass this value, a string value, which is a hello world to another activity or second activity. So we can call it explicit intent. So the detailed explanation will be uh, discussed 
next week. Oke okay, ya. This is explicit and another one is implicit. Okay. Something which is sent from one activity to in built Android activity. I remember, I highlight here. Explicit from one activity to other activity. Implicit from one activity to in built Android activity. What's meaning of the in built, sir? Okay. Example, you want to call dial dial pad, contact browser, call lock gallery camera. So once you click this uh, uh, in this activity, you trigger in built Android devices. So, so your Android uh, device has a uh, oh sorry not Android device. Uh, in other Android application uh, inside the, your device. Yeah. For example, your Android device has a camera application, so you can trigger from your apps, trigger to other application, uh, which is the camera. So it will be uh, performed like that. Yeah. Okay. That is a chapter uh, two. Okay, especially in order to build uh, your application. Let's move to others uh, chapter. Okay, so this is also uh, interesting to you. Okay, and we have uh, discussed uh, in the, our lab, right? It's about the view and layout. So the aim here is to learn how the program, a radio button and checkbox in the Android Studio, learn different layout and manage and edit UI using Java activity. Furthermore, learn how to make an application to support multiple language. So the expected outcome, you able to create the radio button, checkbox uh, button, and manage deal with the linear layout or vertical or horizontal, ability to manage and edit the UI using Java activity and ability to make an application to support multiple language. Maybe for the last expected outcome, okay, for multiple language will be discussed further uh, next week. Okay, I think we don't uh, we don't have enough time to complete all of these things. Let us uh, complete a few things here. Okay, oh, sorry. Okay, to create new application with the UI. Okay, if you look at this uh, UI, you can see that. This uh, graphical user interface consists of two layout. Okay, number one, which is the horizontal layout, uh, it display a checkbox, especially for checkbox. Okay, therefore the checkbox uh, red and white can be horizontally right. And another layout is the we can call it a vertical layout. Okay, vertical layout here you can see. Uh, one plus one equal to okay and this uh, show the uh, different row okay uh, option one okay check a uh, radio button two okay and another one display again uh, what is the color of indonesian flag so this is a uh, another row okay so we can call it as a vertical right so here the uh, this application consists of uh, to uh, layout and it can be happen you you may have a different layout a vertical the orientation yeah uh, or horizontal vertical combination uh, not combination I mean horizontal first and then vertical maybe vertical first then horizontal okay uh, checkbox we already discussed in the previous lab okay it is uh, used when you have to show multiple options to the user and the user is allowed to choose as many options as they want okay by tapping on them you can set is uh, you can set its default text status as true or false and other properties are same as the text view here once you launch the application by default true okay check ready so you can set as false you also can set as a true how you can uh, modify the XML file okay, by adding Android uh, check equal to true. Okay, here. 
So once you launch the application, they, uh, the system already tick this one because you set true. If you set false, then uh, this one is unchecked. How about the radio button? Okay, it's used when you have a low, uh, have to allow selection of only one option among the list of multiple options. It is used under its parent view. And you need the radio group, okay, so that we can get one selected value out of all the list radio button. Okay, so you need to put the radio button inside the radio group. This example. I have a radio group here with the ID is the gender, okay, uh, like on twist, match pattern, okay, wrap of content, and 10 and 20. And then I close here, uh, close radio group, but, uh, radio group, and then I can put the radio button inside the radio group like this. Radio button one, option one. Okay, radio button two, and this is the output. Okay, clear? Any question for the radio button, uh, radio group and radio button here? Before I proceed? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Okay, clear, eh? Okay. Okay, let us proceed. Checking the current state of radio button or checkbox view. Okay. Radio button, uh, this is the uh, the properties. Okay, I have the ID uh, mail, okay, a layout width, wrap content, height also wrap content, check, I set default true, and the text mail, okay, and the color is black. Okay. And then you need to initiate the radio button, okay. Uh, you can type like this, radio button, mail radio button equal to find view by id r dot id dot uh, mail, yeah. uh, rb underscore mail. Okay. But in the in the our lecture, I show it to you, okay. First, I have to declare as a global, okay, uh, variable, which is private okay. radio button, okay, mail radio button. Okay, or you can initialize, initiate, uh, initiate the radio button uh, like this, which is radio button, okay, the type of the palette itself, and this is the variable. Okay, but when I teach the student, I prefer to declare as a global variable. That one, you can call uh, a those uh, palette in different function, okay. If you declare like this, radio button, mail radio button, it can be used only this function. Okay. How about if you create another function uh, on the bottom? Uh, so you cannot access it. Okay. Therefore, I suggest it to you to use a uh, global. Okay. But you can make it private. Means that uh, the other function, the other class are not able to access this uh, variable. Okay. And this one is a local yeah? radio button mail. This is how to link okay, the uh, the XML file and also the Java file. Okay. And check the current state of the radio button true or false. Okay, you can use uh, boolean radio button state equal to mail radio button is check. One is ordered to uh, check the current state of the radio button. And then uh, to declare, okay, the radio button, uh, this one, uh, I prefer to use the declaration like this, a private radio button, mail radio button. Okay. And then you can call mail radio button equal to find you by R I B uh, R B underscore mail. And then to check radio button state equal to mail radio button is check. So both uh, can be performed, can be run smoothly without error. But remember, uh, sometimes if you forgot something, okay, you declare as a local or you declare the variable as a global. Which one? Uh, so you have to um, 
uh, remember uh, for your declaration yeah. whether you want to choose a local or global but I prefer the second one okay checking the current state uh, radio for the checkbox here similar okay my checkbox find, uh, find view by id resources.id my checkbox my checkbox is the id in your uh, xml file commonly use attribute here we have some commonly used attribute which you can use to style your radio button and checkbox but uh, checkbox view for example color text size text style use bold italic okay. background and we also can uh, use the image alongside the text in the radio button to add image uh, you can use android drawable top okay, or android drawable bottom okay, android drawable right left and so on so you can uh, modify okay your radio button and checkbox okay using commonly uh, uh, attribute here color size and so on okay next is image button image as a button so when you click the image and the function will be a button so we can call it image button basically it has the same property in uh, as the image view but only one feature is extra which is image set true image button are clickable so once the user click uh, it can perform a certain action okay action can be attached with them upon clicking okay uh, this is the example okay uh, image button this is the id okay image button layout and uh, okay scale type uh, fit center for example and this is the re resources okay means you save it into the uh, under a drawable okay so the uh, the file is ump logo so first for image button you declare okay after that uh, you set on click listener okay, image button dot set on click listener uh, set on click listener uh, bracket new uh, capital view uh, capital v press tab okay on click listener okay and then public void on click and you can add the action you can set the action here okay. under public void on click uh, maybe you can uh, set those messages you can do something you can sign here okay for view okay this is a text view uh, edit text uh, button checkbox image button so you can refer to the uh, here uh, you can see example okay how to use a, a text view yeah especially in the xml file yeah. okay and also the description for each attribute all right you can explore this one i already shared the uh, slide okay how about the view group and layout uh, View group is a view container. Okay, it is responsible for placing other view on the display. Every layout must extend a view group. Yeah. Every view need uh, to specify and uh, whether you want to uh, uh, set the layout height, width, and uh, also the dimension or one of the match pattern or wrap of content. Some layout are predefined by Android. Okay, some of this example is linear layout, relative layout, table layout, frame layout, absolute layout. Okay, there are five layout in the Android Studio. A layout could be a declare inside another layout. You also can set, let's say, uh, first I want to use relative layout, but inside the relative layout, I want to use a linear layout. Okay, so you can combine. Okay. Uh, not necessary only one layout style in your Android application. You can add more than one layout. So let me uh, explain it to you. So this is the example: frame layout, linear layout, 
relative layout and grid layout. So basically, most of the developer they use the linear layout and relative layout. So here I want near and relative layout. So linear layout dispose view on a single row or column uh, depending on Android layout orientation. Okay, example. I have a code, uh, XML code here. Okay, this is a linear layout. Okay, I have an XML file. Please read this XML file. Uh, Android, uh, Android layout height, uh, field parent, Android orientation vertical. Okay, vertical here means single column, right? And I have a button. Uh, ID is button one. Layout with wrap content, layout height, wrap content, okay. okay. Android text uh, button string one or button one, okay. Button two, uh, I have another button, okay. And the layout width is a wrap content and layout height wrap content. And text here is a button uh, two or button string two. Can you imagine? The output looks like any one of you. Which one? Left or right? Turn on the microphone, please. Uh, can we see the code again? Yes. So you have to look at here. Android orientation, uh, number one is linear layout. Okay, they use the linear layout. Remember, Re linear layout means single row or single column. And the Android orientation here is vertical, means single column. Okay. In the single column here, you have two button, okay. and all the button is a wrap of content. Okay, the use of wrap of content. So, my question, what's the answer? Uh, the second. Uh, the option is left and right. The right. Others, maybe? Amor? Right, sir. Right. Number right. Dan tunjuk ni. Android orientation vertical. You also can change into the horizontal. What's the meaning of vertical? Straight. From the top to bottom. Yes, others? Do you have others answer? Left, sir. The left one. Yes, right. Uh, your answer is correct. So the answer is left. So this is the vertical, okay. because you declare here the layout orientation equal to vertical. But if you change into the horizontal, the answer on the right side. So this is the horizontal. This is vertical. Clear? Clear or not? Clear, sir. Clear, sir. Clear, Clear, sir. Clear, sir. Okay. okay. Can you see my screen here? Yes. yes okay. Sir. If I okay, if I change the orientation to be horizontal, so it will be like this. Button one, button two. If I change to vertical, so it goes to the uh, vertical orientation. Okay. This is already done. So the answer is the left side. Okay. How about the this one, 
Okay. Uh, button, okay. ID, uh, button 1. Uh, layout width, match parent. Layout height, uh, wrap of content. Okay. So button 1. Eh. With match parent. High is a wrap content. The second one is a high mesh pattern and then layout with wrap of content. Okay. Which one? The answer? Left, middle, and the right side. Look at the here again. Button one. Okay, button one with equal to mesh parent. So it means uh, very very long. How about the height wrap of content? All right. For button two, the layout width is wrap of content. The width is wrap of content, but layout height is mesh to parent. So very uh, the height is matched to parent. So, which is the answer? Left, middle, or right? Right. Right one. Right one. Right one. Right. right. So, this is the button one, okay? For width, match to parent, height is wrap of content. Height, wrap of content, width, match to parent. Button two, okay? The layout width is match to parent. Layout height is uh, button two. Okay, layout width is wrap of content. Okay, layout height is match to parent. Okay. Okay. Next one is a linear layout graffiti. You look at here, uh, let's say uh, I want to add the gravity, layout gravity center, and then uh, Android uh, gravity bottom. Okay. What happened? Gravity here is uh, your layout. Okay. It will be center. Let me show it to you. Okay. Here. Let's say, for example, I make it uh, vertical. And this is a... Uh, this wrap content, this is a... Um, let's see. Let's move the way here. All right. For example, this is a match pattern okay, like this, and then I want to add the uh, Android. Gravity. Okay, add gravity, then I choose the center one. Can you see the button two? Okay, it moved to the center. Let's say I add another one, uh, Android. Okay, graffiti. And then I choose bottom, for example. Can you see here, button two, uh, the gravity of button two, especially the text to be uh, on the bottom. Okay, if I change to top, you can see here the gravity of the uh, button uh, text of the button two will be will be on the top one. Okay. Gravity top. So if you call gravity means the text here, but if you call layout gravity means uh, the layout, this is the layout. Okay. Let's say I change to left. Or I change to right. Let's 
So layout means uh, the, the button. If you call the gravity, means the text of the button. Clear? Yeah, you need uh, exercise, you need uh, experience uh, to uh, to do all of this thing. Yeah? Any question? Hello? No, sir. No, sir. Okay. So far, no. Okay. Uh -huh. you, you need to do uh, some exercise. Uh, yeah, sometimes I also forgot if 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 I did I didn't do the exercise. Yeah, so you have to try exercise, especially uh, uh, this one. Okay, this one uh, layout weight here. Okay. What happened if I change into wrap of content? Okay, if I use a wrap of content, means the larger value. Okay means the larger button but if i change to uh, match parent okay the larger value will be smaller okay, okay uh, next one okay the linear layout uh, remember the keyword linear layout is a single column or single row okay it has a problem okay especially you don't have enough space okay let's say here example you have five a uh, button okay at the last button uh, they they will not display properly okay because you use the linear layout so in order to uh, avoid this problem especially you don't have enough space to display uh, uh, five button here you can use uh, relative layout Relative layout is dispose view according to the container or according to the other view. And the gravity uh, attribute indicate what view are more important to define the layout. Useful to align the view. Okay. So this is another uh, layout type, which is a relative layout. And this is popular uh, layout. Uh, in the mobile apps uh, developer uh, when developing the mobile apps uh, you can use a relative layout like this okay. and this is the uh, the XML file okay. you can see here this is the text view and this is the edit text uh, you can rearrange okay based on your preference you can see the relative layout here let me uh, flash back to the here so you can design you can put your form uh, in any space here as long as uh, you declare the width and height and it can be run uh, based on your uh, define yeah? based on your uh, preference okay so you can design uh, maybe here so it it not depends on the uh, what we call a single column or single row, but this is a relative layout, so you can put the form uh, anywhere as long as it is uh, what we call uh, you can put it uh, as long as you can put it. Uh. So you can design here, maybe the text view is uh, more uh, larger, and this is the image, okay, uh, smaller, and the position here. So Mostly people use the relative layout. Okay. Okay, this is the example. A relative layout. Okay. This is part of content, wrap content, wrap, uh, wrap content, and you can declare like this. Uh, you can also uh, resize here. Okay. If you resize, maybe this is not wrap of content, maybe a certain specific uh, pixel. The layout width. Okay. Another one is a table uh, layout. As the name say, uh, similar to the table, has some attribute to customize the layout. Okay. Layout column, layout uh, span, stretch column, uh, 
uh, string a column and collapse column. And each row is inside a table row. So you have a, a table row as the main uh, elements, and then you can use these properties. This is the example, okay, the table layout as mentioned as a table. So it, there, uh, this is a three, okay, three column and three, uh, two row. Usually it will be uh, static, yeah? uh, but you can set the, the length of the column. Okay? You can set the size of column and set of the uh, row. Yeah? Another one is a constraint layout. Okay? Uh, this is a flat view hierarchy, similar to the relative layout. Okay? And offer a, a reaching uh, idea, uh, define the constraint top, bottom, left, right for each view. Okay. Let's say you drag uh, edit text, okay, and then you need to constrain the layout. Okay. There are two ways. Okay. You can choose the static or dynamic. Static means you make it depend to the other's uh, component, okay, or you set the constraint layout to the parent. Okay. It's con it's, it's, each constraint has to be defined to another view another layout or invisible guideline. Okay. You can set uh, or define the constraint layout to the layout, okay, to the parent layout or to other view, okay, others, the palette, for example, edit text, uh, text view, and so on. And this is an example to layout in one design. Uh, example is radio group. You have a layout for the radio group, but inside the radio group, you have another layout, which is the radio button, layout width, okay, wrap of content. So we call it uh, two layout in one design. Okay. And the radio button were placed inside the radio group to make sure user can only select one item. So, so it's possible. Eh? to uh, layout in one design. Okay, this is another one. Uh, you have a linear layout, okay, here uh, you orientation horizontal, and then inside the, this layout you have a checkbox, uh, and the checkbox you also have a layout uh, with height, okay. So here is two layout in one design. Next is uh, import the library. Okay. Uh, for your information, the library, uh, it will be imported automatically for the Android. You just use uh, press ELT enter and then the library uh, that uh, required will be automatically added in your, uh, in your application. Okay. Automatically generated once the programmer type the widget name during the declaration. Instead of action bar activity, API version to uh, 23 will import uh, application compact activity. Okay. Uh, this is the object declaration. I as I explained before. Okay. When you uh, at the beginning, you need to declare. Okay. The type of the widget or component and the variable. Okay. Not all widgets have to be declared. It okay. depends on your application functionality. If the value is static, not changed, then no need to put inside of the Java file. If the certain value of the widget will be changed during the life cycle of the application, then you have to declare it. Okay. Next, link Java object with a widget or XML file. Okay. This is the, the syntax that you need to declare. It is important for you to change uh, the ID of each view. Make sure it is not redundant, not similar to the others. Okay. Each uh, ID for each component yeah, for, uh, in the layout or widget. 
This ID will be used to link between the widget in the XML file with the widget object declared inside the Java file. Okay, next one is a, a program, your render button and checkbox. Okay, uh, in the in our lab I already explained to you, but we just pop up the uh, toast misses here. Uh, this is the example uh, using the selection. Okay, if a uh, radio button is checked, okay, misses the string. So else if okay, sometimes it doesn't work as else if, and you can use if and if like this. Sometimes, yeah. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work. Something like there is a not there is a non imported library. So. In order to avoid else if like this, you can use if if like this. Same, similar. All right. So means once we click uh, this uh, button, okay, it trigger uh, toast misses, okay, and, and this is the misses one plus misses two, okay, toast dot uh, dot show, okay. This is close uh, in Android. It used to display a short and temporary message in Android application. So let's uh, first see what are the, its feature, and then we will get our hand dirty and learn how to make the such toast. So like this, pop up message uh, temporary. Okay, for the feature uh, feature toast, uh, it disappear after a short time. Okay doesn't block the activity, it can be used to give a feedback to the user regarding any operation or you already check uh, this option, so you pop up those uh, pieces. Show what happened, uh, what uh, the system going on, yeah. like form a submission, uh, submit it, uh, so you can pop up. Uh, okay, uh, this is a Another example, okay, in order to uh, display a toast, okay, you can display the string, you declare the string, okay, or you can call the variable, then uh, get the string value, okay, you can display like that. Okay, this is the difference, length long and length short, okay, the display duration, the, di the difference is display duration, and we can control the position of the toast. Uh, for example, here uh, font properties. Okay, you also can manage the and edit the UI Java activity. For example, font properties. You can change the uh, font size. Okay, you can set the. You can use the set text size. Okay, actually, this function uh, try to modify the properties. Okay, but in the Java file. Okay. For example, text view dot set text size integer number. Okay. In order to change color, you can use a set text color, color dot black, color dot parse color, or set text color in bracket, give the uh, the hexadecimal code of the color. Okay. For the radio button and checkbox properties, okay. To capture the text or change it use, you can use get text to string. Okay, means you try to retrieve. Okay, in order to set, okay, you can use set text. Or to make button unclickable, you can set clickable false. If you want to make it uh, clickable, so you can set checkable true. And this is a uh, okay. As I explained before about the supporting uh, different language, okay, I will uh, discuss uh, next week here. Yeah. So basically, here is a create a string for each tag in the application, and it uh, it will be stored into the resources. Okay, so you can automatically generate it from okay choose um, choose fig, and then this is a step by step yeah, basically the, the different language here is a uh, uh, 
you declare the language for uh, you you set the language for multiple languages uh, it means that for example uh, when your application will be used in uh, thailand for example okay so actually you just set the language and then all the content uh, information will be changed the language the language will be changed okay so here let me explain uh, uh, what we call uh, next week so you just uh, declare here you basically you save it into the string folder under uh, value here okay. okay that's it one hours 22 minutes